Spooky Duty World's most determined reporter, reporting the channel 66 Eyewitness News. So in today's news, we're going to talk about news. Because in case you didn't know that, most uh, news stations and network television, they just talk about news. Sometimes several people are, are sit in a huge panel in a large round table and they talk about their, you know, their opinion and they talk about what they think is news and then another person responds to it and then sometimes if somebody else has a different opinion than what they're saying, they cut their mic off and you'll never know, you'll start to think, wow, everyone has the same opinion so maybe I should have the same opinion because if I don't then something must be wrong with me. And that's pretty much corporate news. And sometimes, you know, you may pick up a tabloid newspaper and you may read some news articles about a cow giving birth to a spider. A pig, you know, giving birth to a human. Well, maybe that's possible. But then you're kind of like, ah, that, I don't believe that story, you know? And when you come home, when you turn on the corporate media, you never really hear them uh, telling uh, viewers, don't listen to that tabloid, don't believe that the cow gave birth to the spider, because they know that people are probably not going to really believe that. But, say for instance, you know, there's different uh, organizations and different news outlets, and not all of them are backed by corporations or some huge... Uh, uh, money pigs and maybe they decided to do a little reporting a little journalistic uh you know journalistic stuff and they go out you know onto the uh news area or they go out and start doing some coverage about uh product product design no i'm just kidding about people protesting protesting what well they're trying to find out and then we never really find out why they're protesting but anyway so you know there are different news outlets and they go out and they do their thing and they they put their show on the internet and their news stuff on the internet and then they write articles all over the internet and it's you know thank god for the internet because now you can actually get different um news opinions because that's essentially what people are doing they're giving you their opinions and then you also get to actually visually see a lot of things. Then it becomes very, very funny, you know, when you kind of decide, you know, I don't really need to watch this corporate news anymore. But then suddenly, the corporate news is now telling all of us that if it's not corporate media, then it's fake news. And if your opinion is not what they're telling you to be, then it's fake opinion. So what does that mean? You know what that means? That means now you have to just pick up the New York Times because if any of you have seen how it's been advertised lately, the New York Times is the truth. It's democracy. If you want real news, pick up a giant paper because you know what? Sometimes size matters. When a paper is this tall and this wide and it has a lot of big words in it and it's divided into nice sections and it's got a nice font that says New York Times, well, that must be real news because it's such a nice paper. How could something else on the internet actually uh, provide more facts than what I read in the paper? For so many years and years and years. Now, those of you who've been watching this show for many years all will very well know Miss Poopy Duty. That's me and my uh, dealings with the New York Times. It goes all the way back to To or Not to Profile years ago. Remember how they picked up that story? Let's take you back on a flashback. Wow, yeah! Good evening. This is Miss Poopy Day reporting for the evening BBBC News. I am extremely disappointed and bewildered at the inaccurate news that has been spreading all over the city. And the sad thing is that everybody is believing it. What's the matter with you people? Do you believe everything you see on television? Get rid of your newspaper! Get rid of the Brainwash Times! Sunday wasn't made for the Brainwash Times! Get rid of it! Ah, putting that footage there was kind of interesting, wasn't it? Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is that listen to what you want to listen to 
listen to many, many, many different things. If you want to read about the cow giving birth to a spider, that's fine. But you really don't need somebody else telling you what to eat and what to think and what not to eat. Because now if you eat something else and you have a slightly different opinion, God forbid, the ceiling is going to crash and they're going to come and kill you. So shh, be quiet. Be very, very quiet. Especially if you're at work, you know, you sit in your cubicle and you be very, very quiet. Kind of like a plant. A plant never speaks. So remember, you have no opinion except to agree with the masses. Because apparently that's what you have to do. And of course, the New York Times is great at spreading uh, the truth. It's real news, and it must be real news because they said it's real news, you know? So when a, a huge newspaper advertises themselves to be real news, it must be real. Because I always thought news in general was real, but apparently you have to have a disclaimer. This is real news. So you're like, oh yeah, yeah, let me pick up the real news now, and I wouldn't pick up that news, I'll pick up the real news. So, I mean, I, I guess that's the way people now uh, think. They'll, um... What use, though, of the New York Times, though? I like how the papers are extremely huge. You know, there are a lot of things you can do with it if you're into arts and crafts. You could make a huge hat with it. Well, you know what? That would actually be in um, my next episode. I think we could talk about the usefulness of the New York Times, and I could show you the many uses of it. I mean, you'd be amazed at how useful huge papers can be. You'd be very, very surprised. So once again, this is Miss Poopy Diddy, world's most determined reporter, reporting this 666 Eyewitness News. And I just wanted to add, you know, here we are paying, well, not we, but these uh, news journalists are being paid millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars to sit around a round table and give their opinion when you can actually get a better, more informative uh, opinion from any news blogger on YouTube. Even from a teenager, you can get a more insightful opinion. Ah, just my thought. So remember, you're watching 666 Eyewitness News. Just don't forget.